Did you know that the journey of a Cheerio from farm to your breakfast bowl takes just 36 hours? It's a whirlwind transformation that starts in the golden wheat fields of Manitoba and ends with that satisfying crunch in your spoon. In the next 10 minutes, you'll witness the incredible odyssey of a single oat as it becomes part of your favorite morning cereal. Let's take you inside the sprawling oat fields of Manitoba, Canada, where the journey of your Cheerios begins. Picture endless golden waves stretching to the horizon, rustling gently in the prairie breeze. This is where Edgar Schwerer, a third-generation oat farmer, tends to his crops with a level of care you might not expect for a breakfast cereal. You'd be amazed at the strict quality standards these oats must meet. It's not just about growing oats, it's about cultivating perfection. Edgar and his fellow farmers use specialized equipment designed to harvest only the cream of the crop. These machines are calibrated to select oats at the peak of ripeness, ensuring that each grain has the ideal balance of nutrients and flavor. Here's how it works. As the harvester moves through the fields, it uses advanced sensors to assess each oat plant. Only those meeting specific criteria for size, weight, and color make it into the collection bin. The rest are left behind or used for other purposes. Believe it or not, only about 1% of the oats make the cut for Cheerios. That's right, 99% of oats don't meet the exacting standards set by General Mills. The journey from field to factory is a race against time. Once harvested, the oats are quickly transported to the processing facilities. Speed is crucial here, as the nutritional value of oats begins to diminish soon after harvesting. Trucks loaded with precious cargo race along Canadian highways, making their ways to the General Mills plant in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. What's truly remarkable is how quickly these oats transform from simple grains to your breakfast cereal. From the moment they're harvested to the time they land in your cereal bowl, only 36 hours pass. That's less than two days for an oat to travel hundreds of miles and undergo a complete metamorphosis. You might think you know how Cheerios get their shape, but the reality is far more complex and impressive than you could imagine. What if I told you that the journey from oat to O involves a contraption called a puffing gun and a process that happens faster than the blink of an eye? Welcome to the General Mills plant in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where the magic happens. Here, oats undergo a transformation that occurs a staggering 39,000 times per minute. The first step in this process might surprise you. It's all about creating the perfect dough. The carefully selected oats are ground into a fine flour, which is then mixed with water and other ingredients to form a raw batter. But creating the iconic O shape isn't as simple as you might think. In fact, General Mills engineers tested over 500 different formulas and 10 shapes before perfecting the Cheerio we know today. They experimented with stars, spheres, even dumbbells before settling on the O shape. Why? Turns out the O is not just visually appealing, it's also the most durable and efficient shape for packaging. Here's how it works. The batter is pressed through special molds to form the familiar O shape. Then comes the real magic, the puffing gun. This incredible piece of technology was developed by physicist Lester Borchardt, and it's what gives Cheerios their unique texture. The O-shaped pieces are subject to high heat and pressure in a special cylinder. When they're suddenly released from the high-pressure environment, the water inside turns to steam, causing the Cheerios to puff up almost instantly. The result? A light, crispy cereal that's instantly recognizable. But the process isn't over yet. The next step is crucial for creating that classic Cheerios taste we know and love. These freshly puffed O's are about to embark on a flavor journey that will surprise you and your taste buds. Just when you thought the Cheerios were ready for your bowl, they face one more crucial step. It's a process so delicate that even a slight miscalculation could alter the taste of millions of breakfasts. What if I told you that the secret to Cheerios flavor lies in a technique that pushes the boundaries of precision toasting? You might think toasting cereal once is enough, but Cheerios disagrees. The double toasting process is what gives these little O's their unique flavor profile. It's a technique so precise that even a few seconds can make a significant difference in the final product's taste and texture. Here's how it works. First, the raw oats are toasted to create a rich, aromatic flour. This initial toasting is essential for developing the cereal's signature flavor. It's during this stage that the oats begin to take on their slightly sweet, slightly salty taste that sets Cheerios apart from other breakfast cereals. But the journey doesn't end there. After the oats are shaped into their iconic O form, they're toasted again. The second round of toasting is crucial for achieving that perfect crunch we all know and love. The process involves specialized equipment that allows for controlled heating ensuring that each O is toasted evenly and thoroughly to maximize flavor extraction. You'd be amazed at the level of precision involved in this process. The timing is so exact that even a few seconds can significantly impact the final product. It's this attention to detail that ensures that every box of Cheerios 
delivers that consistent taste you've come to expect. The result of this double toasting technique? A cereal that's slightly sweet, slightly salty, and entirely unique. It's a flavor profile that's remained largely unchanged over the years, with the original recipe still being the most popular. This process not only enhances the taste, but also influences the nutritional content of Cheerios, helping to create a flavorful cereal without adding excessive sugar or calories. You might think that after a double toasting, Cheerios would be ready to ship, but there's a hidden world of quality control that stands between the factory and your breakfast table. What if I told you that every hour a team of technicians puts these O's through a series of tests that would make a NASA engineer proud? Before Cheerios leave the factory, they face one last challenge. A team of dedicated technicians puts each batch through rigorous testing. You'd be amazed at the precision of these tests. They measure everything from color to crunch, ensuring that every O meets the exacting standards set by General Mills. Here's how it works. Samples are taken every hour and analyzed in the lab. Technicians use advanced equipment like spectrophotometers to analyze the color of each Cheerio, making sure it has that perfect golden hue. Texture analyzers are employed to assess the crunchiness, ensuring that each O delivers that satisfying snap when you bite into it. But it's not just about taste and texture. Cheerios must meet strict nutritional standards too. The FDA has set specific limits on sugar content and requirements for whole grain content. General Mills takes these regulations seriously, carefully monitoring the nutritional profile of each batch to ensure it meets or exceeds these standards. Believe it or not, even the size and shape of each O is carefully monitored. Any Cheerios that don't meet the precise specifications are discarded or repurposed. This attention to detail ensures that when you pour a bowl of Cheerios, each O is practically identical to the next. The quality control process doesn't end with the cereal itself. The packaging process includes measures to preserve freshness, such as nitrogen flushing to remove oxygen from the packaging. This helps maintain the cereal's crunch long after it leaves the factory. For those with gluten sensitivities, there is an extra layer of quality control. General Mills has implemented a gluten-free certification process, which includes rigorous testing for cross-contamination. This ensures that Cheerios are safe for consumers who need to avoid gluten. Through this meticulous quality control process, Cheerios ensures consistent quality in every box. So the next time you pour a bowl of these golden O's, remember the unseen journey they've taken. From the oat fields of Manitoba, to the high-tech quality control labs, every Cheerio has been crafted and tested to bring you the perfect breakfast experience. From farm to bowl, every Cheerio represents a marvel of modern food engineering. The journey spans just 36 hours, but involves countless hands and intricate processes. Over 500 formulas were tested before perfecting the iconic O shape we know today. That dedication shows in the numbers. The original Cheerios still sell 139 million boxes each year. Next time you pour a bowl, Take a moment to appreciate the complexity behind each tiny O. Think about the oat farmers in Manitoba, the specialized machinery, and the precise double toasting technique. Consider the rigorous quality control that ensures every Cheerio meets exacting standards.